How to control your weight on a vegan diet. In this lesson, we will look at the six tips to help you gain control over your weight easily. We'll also look at the two problems with counting calories and the top seven vegan foods that make you gain weight. Before we begin, it's important to know that all the tips we give here are generic. You must try them out yourself and see what works for you. Let's get started. The six tips to easy weight control are number one, eat a diet full of nutrients. Number two, get enough fiber and liquids. Number three, avoid unhealthy foods. Number four, plan your food for the day. Number five, make sure you eat enough. And number six, make sure you move enough. Number one, Eat a diet full of nutrients. One of the greatest benefits of eating a healthy vegan diet is getting foods that are nourishing and packed with nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and energy to keep you going throughout the day. Fresh fruits and vegetables are great for giving you what you need. They are easy to digest, so they won't deplete you of energy. As a tip, eat the sweet foods early in the day. It will give you energy to keep you going. Number two, get fiber and liquids. Did you know that for many people, the feeling of thirst and the feeling of hunger are so similar that they overeat when they should be getting more liquids? Given what we've learned about our species, frugivores or fruit eaters, this isn't surprising. Fruits, which are both sweet and salty, are packed with nutrients and are also very high on water content. Ask yourself before you eat, are you getting enough liquids? Perhaps you'd like some freshly squeezed orange juice or apple juice. Fiber is another important component. Healthy fresh whole foods have very high fiber content, which keeps you full for long periods of time. Number three, avoid unhealthy foods. We have an entire lesson at the end of this module just for foods to avoid on a healthy vegan diet. Just because something says vegan does not automatically mean it's good for you. Fizzy drinks, biscuits, crisps, chips, junk food, industrialized snacks, and heavily fried foods can all be vegan, but they contain a high level of processed sugars, unhealthy fats, and other toxins. They're low in nutrients, so even though you might feel full for a short while after eating them, your body would afterwards give you the cue that you need to eat more. Many of these foods include addictive chemicals as well, or chemicals that make you want to eat more and more of them after the first bite. Make sure you read labels to see what's in your food. If your snack says raisins, sesame seeds, and berries, you're good. If it has many words with 10 letters and numbers, you can be sure it's got toxic chemicals in it. In addition, limit your alcohol intake. Drinking too much can easily contribute to weight gain. Number four, plan your food for the day. For many people, planning makes perfect. Here are Andrea and Bobby. Andrea likes to eat three meals a day and have snacks in between. This is her plan for Wednesday. She has breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Bobby eats the same amount of foods, but he likes to spread them more. He wants to have breakfast, second breakfast, lunch, tea time snacks, dinner, and supper. After they made their plan for the week, Bobby and Andrea went to the supermarket to get everything they'd need. At the end of the week, They'll see what they liked and didn't like and what they'd want to change. Number five, make sure you eat enough. A lot of people fail when they change their foods to vegan because the high fiber content makes them feel full and they don't notice that they are not eating enough foods. Sometimes you discover that they've been going on 800 calories a day when the recommended amount is 2000 a day for women and 2,500 for men. This, of course, is personal and might be too much for you, 
but whatever choice you make, ensure you're getting enough foods. Once you've made a plan of what you eat, stick to it and don't skip meals. This will stop you from getting sudden hunger and binging. Make sure you're getting all the nutrients you need and if you must snack, Eat healthy foods like apples, clementines, or berries. Number six, make sure you move enough. One of the most important things, both for your health and well-being, for your metabolism and for keeping a steady weight, is movement. By movement, we don't necessarily mean marathon running or participating in competitive sports. Of course, if that's what works for you, go for it. But every person is different and you should choose the activity that's right for your body. Yoga, walking or going for a swim can be very beneficial and leave you refreshed and feeling happy about your activity and diet. So far we've discussed six winning ways to control your weight on a vegan diet. As you've noticed we didn't include reducing calories as a method of losing weight. On the contrary we only mentioned calories when we spoke about eating enough foods. This is because of the two main problems that people have when they try to count calories in order to lose weight. First, let's start by understanding what a calorie is. According to Oxford Dictionary, a calorie is the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree centigrade. As you can see, this is a generic definition and doesn't relate to digestion. Now before we go on to the two problems, let's briefly talk about sugars. Everything we eat has sugars in it, but there is a huge difference between the good sugars like the simple, healthy, unprocessed sugars in fruit and the refined and processed complex sugars in processed foods. The first problem is that calories don't matter as much as the other elements of food. Think for a second about one bowl of fried chips or french fries. It has the same amount of calories as one to two liters of fruit salad, depending on the fruit, of course. The fruit salad has valuable nutrients, a high water content, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. It will keep you full and energized for a long time. The bowl of chips has what nutritionists like to call empty calories, which means it has little else. The sugars are processed and the chips covered with oils. They will keep you full for a short while, but your body will cause you hunger again because you are depleted of nutrients. The second problem is that counting calories won't cause you to lose weight in the long run. Restriction of calories in the short run will cause the body to lower physical activity to preserve its weight as part of a survival technique. If you keep restricting your calories in the long run, the diet will be difficult to follow and you risk binge eating or the well-known yo-yo effect, which is what happens when a large loss of weight is followed by a large gain of weight, sometimes resulting in a higher weight than at the beginning. Losing weight as a result of switching to healthy foods is a lifestyle change and therefore has a much higher chance of keeping the weight you want for long periods of time. The top seven foods that cause you to gain weight. For some people, gaining control over their weight actually means gaining a few pounds. For others, it's about knowing which foods to eat in moderation. Each person is different and our absorption and digestion works differently. More about this in our next lesson. If you are looking to gain weight, make sure you do it in a healthy way. Here are some vegan foods that will cause you to gain weight. It's easy to eat high quantities of them. Avocado, nuts and nut butters, seeds like flax seeds and chia seeds, tahini, vegetable oils, including olive oil, dried fruits, because you can eat a lot of them in one go, and starches. 
In this lesson, we covered the basics of how to ensure you can control your weight on a vegan diet. Next, we have a lesson about which unhealthy foods to avoid to ensure you stay healthy and fit.